Hi, welcome to this lesson in absolute deviation. So with absolute value, we're looking at the number of units away from zero that a particular number is. So there's no sign associated with absolute value because, for example, let's say 3. If the absolute value is 3, you can be at positive 3 or negative 3, and you're still 3 units away from zero. So when we solve absolute value equations, as we've seen before, we oftentimes see plus or minus is what the answer is equal to. If it's absolute value of x equals 10, that means x equals positive 10 or negative 10. Absolute deviation is going to work similarly, so let's take a look at this sample problem. I weigh 165 pounds with an absolute deviation of 4 pounds. What is my minimum weight? What is my maximum weight? So in this case, the way we would write that as an equation, it's going to be 165 plus or minus the absolute deviation. Absolute deviation tells you how far off of your known value you might be. So that could be plus or minus 4. So to get your maximum or minimum, you're simply going to look at what your original number is. 165, what your absolute deviation is, 4, and then for minimum we'll be subtracting, and for maximum we'll be adding that absolute deviation to our original value. So in this case 165 minus 4 for the minimum, so the minimum is going to be 165 minus 4, which would be 161 pounds, and for the maximum, it'd be 165 plus 4, which equals 169 pounds. So those would be our two answers for our questions on absolute deviation. If you have further questions or would like to see additional problems covered, please feel free to leave comments in the comments section below. Otherwise, uh, you can also recommend certain sections of the book that you'd like to see videos posted about. Thanks for watching.